In this video, we're going to address the question of what happens after you settle your workers' compensation case. My name is Matt Eason, and I've been practicing workers' compensation and personal injury law for over 25 years. And naturally, one of the first questions that clients ask us right before they settle the case is, what happens next? What happens after I've settled my case? The most pressing question after you settle a workers' compensation case is, how long do you receive your payment? Under the law, they have 30 days after the judge issues the order approving the settlement to pay that without being subject to fees or interest, and quite frankly, that payment usually shows up within a couple of weeks. Once you've gotten past the issue of when does the check arrive, the really the bigger question is what remedies or rights do I still have moving forward after the settlement of your workers' compensation case? To understand your rights and remedies, we probably need to work on the word settlement. Sometimes people interpret the word settlement to include a stipulation, an award, and a compromise. Some people interpret it to mean only a compromise. A stipulation and award really isn't a settlement of your case. It's really an agreement reached between you or your, or your attorney and your employer or the workers' compensation carrier over the amount of benefits that you're entitled to by virtue of your workers' compensation case. And when you've reached that agreement, that agreement is put into a written stipulation that was given to a workers' compensation judge who then issues an award based on that stipulation. When you have a stipulation and award, you still have future rights. You have not settled those future rights. Consequently, if you have further need for medical care related to that injury, you're entitled to that medical care subject to utilization review. Likewise, if your injuries get worse and you're still within five years of the date of the original injury, you can potentially go back and petition to reopen your case and to increase the amount of the stipulation and award. Consequently, to characterize a stipulation and award as a settlement really isn't accurate. It's really a resolution of benefits to date and you still have benefits going forward. In contrast to a stipulation award, there is a compromise and release. A compromise and release really is more related, more akin to a settlement agreement that you would see in other areas of the law. In a compromise and release, more times than not, you've washed your hands of all potential claims. That includes future medical care, that includes rights to temporary disability, rights to permanent disability, vocational rehabilitation, everything. A compromise and release is just that. It's a compromise of your claim and a complete release of your claim in most situations. Therefore, to ask what rights you have after compromise and release, the answer is virtually none in most cases. So with respect to the call, the question, what happens after you settle a workers' compensation case? You should expect your check within 30 days after the judge signs the order. And as far as future rights go, it really depends. Did you have a settlement by way of a compromise and release, or did you have a resolution by way of a stipulation and award? If you have questions about which of those you should sign, which one's appropriate, what you should be receiving to settle your case, we'll hope you consider reaching out to our firm. My name again is Matt Eason. The firm is Eason and Tamernini. We're located at 1234H Street, Sacramento, California, 95814. You can find us on the web at www.capcitylaw.com or you can call us at 916-438-1819.